Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the cauliflower sandwich. Mmm. We kick things off by boiling a head of cauliflower. Now we're going to let it rest for a minute or so. Okay, now we have to cut slices from the head. Now we dredge it in flour. Now we saute it in hot butter until brown on both sides. Okay, now that it's lightly brown, we add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and we let it cool. Okay, our cauliflower has cooled a bit, so now we put it onto buttered bread. Okay, let's give this cauliflower sandwich a go. I mean, it's not terribly exciting. Cooked cauliflower, fried in butter, salt and pepper. Um, there's not a ton of flavor going on, but it's the foundation for something that I think is going to be really tasty, so uh, let's plus it up. I'm going to kick it piccata style, put a little uh, capers on it, and a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, let's give this cauliflower sandwich plussed up with lemon juice and capers, piccata style, a go. Mm -hmm. mm. You get the little pop from the um, capers, the tartness of the lemon juice, and both are playing really well with the butter, which are playing well with the cauliflower. Yeah, so clearly uh, taking cauliflower steaks, dredging them in flour, and frying them in butter uh, was not something that was invented on Pinterest five years ago. Uh, the cauliflower sandwich by itself was okay. It was a little boring. It could have used a lot more seasoning. Um, and I did overcook the cauliflower a little bit. It didn't slice as clean, but it was my first time boiling a whole head of cauliflower. Give me a break. Um, I would say that the original cauliflower sandwich was like a five and a half. It's not bad. Filling. Uh ostensibly good for you. Plussed up with the lemon juice and the capers, giving the old piccata treatment. I thought that really elevated. I think that's about a seven and a half. That is actually quite tasty. I am definitely going to finish that, and I would make the plussed up version again. I really would. Although I'd probably season the flour a little before, uh, you know, sauteing in butter. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.